peoples welcome back to my channel today we're doing a fall look especially since thanksgiving is around the corner and everybody needs something cute to wear and everybody wants to like put some cute makeup on do something dope with their eyeshadow so i decided to use brown today and i know everybody uses brown for like these holidays but honestly you can never go wrong with browns so like you want to just pop brown eyeshadow that's it you're lit like it's cute so along with my brown i decided to pop some glitter it's like a really nice champagne glitter i got from nyx and y'all already know i'm a glitter queen y'all already know how i feel about glitter you can never go wrong with glitter that just gives you like a little pop in your eyes i love using glitter but i also decided to use a white eyeliner on the top so i've been seeing a lot of people do this kind of look lately with white eyeliner on top and then they put like glitter on the bottom or whatever so i just wanted to try it out today and i really do like how it came out i feel like it looks different but it's not too much like i feel like it looks perfect for this look especially for the holidays like it's just a perfect touch i feel like the white eyeliner really did its thing and it's really cute and i probably will start doing it way more often so i did buy some makeup goodies i'm waiting for one more item it should be delivered this week so whenever i do get it i'm gonna have a little makeup haul so you guys can see what new products i've got i'm so excited to try these out because i really needed new makeup like i feel like um, that same makeup every day is like so basic and so boring so i really wanted to try something different so don't miss my next video all right guys i'm gonna let you see how i created this look but before you leave you already know what to do don't forget to subscribe like comment down below and turn notifications on so you never miss my videos and thank you guys for watching until next time all right guys so today we're gonna use our norvina palette but before i'm gonna use my anastasia beverly hills eye primer i'm gonna just keep it in the anastasia mood today because i really do love this palette and i'm starting to really like this primer if you guys know me from jump y'all know that i never liked this primer because it was just so weird but i've been feeling it lately so it's really good now i'm gonna go in my first shade called incense and it's a very like a light brown i just wanted to use that as a transition shade just so i could build up whatever i'm trying to do at this point i really had no idea what i was gonna do but i did know i was gonna do my thanksgiving colors so i knew i was gonna apply some brown in there so i know brown is so typical but if you guys want me to try orange red yellow anything among those colors let me know comment down below and i shall do that for my next video so far i'm loving this color it's so blendable it's so easy but that's honestly with every anastasia palette like their shades are just so great i love them so much now i'm using the shade volatile which is a nice chocolate brown it's not too dark it's like a really nice shade of brown that i really like on my eyelid and i really did want to build it up so i was using the light shades first and then now i'm applying just a little bit darker i don't want it to be like completely black you know i just did definitely wanted to have my brown there now i'm just blending really really thoroughly just because i do want to have a cut crease I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Puff to create my crease. But let me know what y'all use to create y'all crease. Like, what do you guys use? Because I usually use the same thing all the time. Like, I really don't use my other concealers. I usually keep my two concealers just for my eyes. And this concealer just strictly for my cut crease. But I do want to try something else out. If you guys know something dope, let me know. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush just to make sure I have that nice round shape. This usually I use it just to clear out my crease. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX glitter glue. I love this glue so much. I've been using it for like a while now and I'm not even halfway done. Like a little literally goes a long way. And this is so good. Like it just makes everything stick to my eyes so much better. And now I completely forgot to show you guys my NYX glitter that I'm using. So I'm just going to insert it here. But this shade is so pretty. I thought at first it was like a brown glittery. But it's honestly like a champagne glittery. And it's so, so cute. I've been using this way before I started filming. And it's so great. And honestly, it was like $5 in Walmart. And I kid you not, I had this for like a year already. And I'm not even halfway done yet. And it doesn't burn my eyes. I used other glitters. I really do burn my eyes but these don't so I really love the NYX glitters and now I'm gonna go in with that same shade volatile and just apply a little bit more in the corners and a little bit on the top just so I can have everything blended out because it is glitter so I will have a little bit of fallout now I'm going in with my NYX white eyeliner so I love NYX eyeliner especially the matte formulas they're so great I have the black one and now I have the white one and they're so bomb I really suggest it if you guys want a liquid 
this is the one but anywho i wanted to apply white because i feel like it gives it like a nice pop of white like it just pops everything out a little bit more it's not like too much but i feel like it really does make a difference for better like i love it so much now that we have our lashes on we're gonna move on to the face so i'm gonna go in with my juno and company primer i love this primer so much and i decided to use my hands today in a mirror like look at me being productive and useful my sister literally bought me this mirror for my birthday and i like it's always in my desk i use it sometimes but not often so i was like all right i need to use it now i'm gonna go in with my huda beauty foundation in the shade latte 300n i am so sorry guys but for some reason i forgot to record when i first put my foundation on i don't know why but i did need a second layer so i'm just showing you guys this now because especially with wearing masks i don't know about child but i'll be breaking out all the time lately and it's so so annoying now i'm gonna move on to the second step which is concealer and i'm using my elf and my nars concealer again i forgot to film when i applied it i don't know what's up with me today but anywho we have it on now and honestly i told y'all a million times this combination is so bomb i don't know sometimes when i try it alone it is pretty good too but together it's great now i'm gonna go in with my fancy beauty bronzer in the shade macchiato i love this bronzer so much especially me because i don't really like I don't really know how to contour yet i'm still learning so i feel like this is a really nice shade it's not too dark and it's very blendable let me tell you it will it's not like it'll like disappear it's just it'll really like go into your skin like it's really really nice i love this bronzer if you guys don't have it it's really dope especially for beginners i feel like for beginners would be perfect now i'm using my huda beauty baking powder just so i can bake under my eyes and make sure i have a nice snatch contour and now I'm going to move on for blush. And I'm using my Tarte blush in the shade Party. It's a very nice subtle pink. It's so cute and it's so soft. And now we're going to go on with Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation Powder to set my face. I'm telling y'all, this is really like dope. I love how it sets my face. It's so pretty. Now I'm using my Anastasia highlighter. Like look at that. Look at that. Just look at that glow. Like y'all better stop sleeping on Anastasia. They really be killing the game for highlighters best one i have yet i'm really extra when it comes to highlighters so that's why y'all see me putting highlighter all over my face because i love it i'm using my morphe lipstick in the shade confess it's such a nice matte brown i mean alone it's beautiful but if you do want to apply something on top like a little gloss topper that'd be so cute too that's kind of what i'm going for because i love glossy lips so now that i have my nice brown i'm gonna top it off with my anastasia lip gloss in the shade citrix and it gives it like a nice gloss kind of glittery in a way but not too much like it's so pretty and it just looks perfect with this brown lip and now for my last step i'm using my morphe and jeffree star setting spray oh this smells like heaven but yeah guys we are done i hope you guys enjoyed my fall slash thanksgiving look it's a nice brown look i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys recreate it like show me i would love to see that but thank you guys for watching until next time